Hi there, Homespun friends. It's good to see you again today. I'm coming to you from my bedroom, sitting here at my computer, and just wanted to check in with you and uh, refer back to the subject that we were talking about yesterday when we were talking about being frugal and some ways that we can be good stewards, get out of debt, and stay out of debt. And um, so I wanted to give you a few tips today on how you might think about trying that. And one of the first ways that you can save money is through calling services that you have and seeing if they will reduce your bills or seeing if they have any specials going on. This might include your cell phone service, your insurance, your cable bill. Um, these are things we pay every month. Many times, um, you know, we sign up when we first move into a home or when we first get the service and then we forget about it. And then, you know, over time the bill goes up and we wonder, why are we paying so much money? But we never really call and see if they'll do anything to reduce the amount of money that we're having to pay each month. You know, I do this regularly. Matter of fact, I did it last week and found out that the cell phone company that my husband and I are with are going to reduce our bill by $110 a month, all because of a special that they are running right now. And I was able to plug into that special simply because I called and asked, is there any way that we can save money in our home? Same thing with the cable company. I called them about three weeks ago. I said, is there any way that we can save money on our cable bill? And they said, well, we can't do a lot, but we can save you about $24 a month. And I said, that sounds great because any amount of savings really adds up. So this is one way, even with your car insurance, your house insurance, don't be afraid to call and see if you can add some savings to, um, to your home and really help you out in paying off debt and being frugal and using that money for something else you might need. Um, another way that you can um, save money is by, let me refer to my notes here, oh yes, by calling your credit card companies and seeing if they will reduce your interest. Now this is something my husband and I did and you know almost all of their credit card companies will reduce your interest rate if they know that you're trying to get out of debt. And what we told them is, you know, many of these credit card companies, they charge 18 to 28% interest. It's really like highway robbery, how much money that you're having to pay out simply in interest. And so if you call them and tell them, look, you know, we'll never be able to get out of debt if we're only making the minimum payment. Can you please reduce our interest rate? Now, one of the things my husband and I decided that we were going to do is um, we wanted to cancel our cards. We did not want to have any credit cards anymore. Um, and I will tell you that this will um, somewhat hurt your credit score um, it beca simply because it um, reduces the amount of credit that you have access to. Now my husband and I get credit card offers all the time, all the time, and loan offers and things like that in the mail constantly. And many of them look very good. Some of them may have 12 months no interest or something like that. Um, we just throw those in the recycling bin. We do not even look at them right now because we do not want to have any credit cards. We want to live um, just within our means and within our savings. And, um, and so we feel comfortable doing that. And so when we talked to our credit card companies about reducing our interest and said, you know, we want to cancel this card. We want to reduce our interest. Several of these credit card companies reduced our interest down to three or four percent from 21 percent and talk about savings that saves you a lot of money so see we were able to pay off credit cards very quickly because um, you know our interest rate went down and that made it so much more doable and the credit card um, credit card companies are really willing uh, to work with you they want their money and um, they're willing to take a little less interest if they know that you're vigilant about paying and that you're trying to get out of debt um, they're very willing to help you. And some of them tried to say, why don't you just create, keep the credit card, you know? But we were like, no, we don't want it anymore. We want to cancel it. And if you'll just give us the reduced interest rate, we'll have this paid off in no time. And they were very content to, um, to you know, to help us out. So call your credit card companies that you owe and see if they will help you. Most of them will. Another way that you can really um, save money is by using generic products. Now, some folks are really beholden to their name brand sugar or name brand toilet paper or paper towels or whatever type um, product it might be. Also, especially with food, some people say, well, I have to have craft cheese. I can't have the generic or great value cheese. But, you know, what you're going to find out if you try other products is that many of them are exactly the same. Matter of fact, some of them are made by the very same companies. Years ago, I found out through a friend who worked for a milk company that their, their business processed milk for several different brands. Some of them were for no-name brands and also for a very well-known brand by the name of Pet Milk. So the Pet Milk and the generic milk were the same. They just had different labels on them, on the cartons, and they were sold at a much different price. 
So don't be afraid to step out and to try a generic brand. You may not like it, and then you can turn right around and go back to um, the product that you used before. But if you do like it, think about the money that you're going to save. Another thing that I do is I regularly receive emails from some sites that I have signed up to that give me a heads up about savings and about things that are coming up for sale and about coupons. Now, I'm going to give you the names of some of these, and I'm going to refer to my notes when I do this so I don't mess up, but one that I receive mail from um, every day is called Refund Sense Daily, and I've been receiving uh, an email from them quite frequently for the last number of years, and, um, and they are great. They send me maybe two emails a day, and in that email, they will list things that are uh, coupons that are out there and where you can use them. They will tell you how to get freebies. Some companies just regularly give away freebies and you can go to their website and sign up and Refund Sense Daily will tell me where to go and sign up for those things. Also, um, they will tell you, you know, about restaurants that have coupons or deals going on. Um, they just have all kinds of great tips. They will tell you about stores that where if you combine coupons and other things that you can um, basically get the items for free. And that's what I really like is the freebies that they have. And another one of the um, emails that I get every day is from a site called Yes We Coupon. And I really, this is a new one that I have really just signed up for in the last six months. And I have found a lot of great things through that. A couple days ago, they ran, uh, they, they, basically what it is is a list. And down that list, it said, Take advantage of York's free photo book, um, pay shipping only. And so I went to York and found that I could easily go onto my computer, plug in pictures. I could use stickers and other decorations online. I could type in all of my own words and make a 20 page photo book completely free. And all I had to pay was $3.99 shipping. And this would make a great gift to give someone uh, for their birthday, for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas. Um, you could just go on there and put pictures of the grandkids and give it to the grandmother for Christmas time. And you can add in, you know, um, you know, Jenny's birthday, Bobby's, you know, graduation. And you can add your own special notes to each page of the book that you want to. You can do it in any style that you want to. And all you paid for that was $3.99. So that's the kind of deals that I'm talking about today. Another one that was listed was a place called, I think the site is called Gear X. Once a year, they have $4.99 sundresses. You can buy sundresses for $4.99 each. They're regularly $35. And so um, it gave you the heads up. Today, go over, and if you want to buy a sundress for $4.99, um, go to this website. They're having the deal, and this is what you need to do. Another thing that was listed today is Bath & Body Works is having their 75% off sale. And so you can go in and take advantage of a lot of their products for 75% off. Now, um, you know, that's something I might not um, even know about since I don't always go to the malls and things like that. But if you are aware through this website that the discount day is coming up, then you can go and take advantage of those sales. Also today was a free $5 Starbucks card. You could send a free $5 card to your friend, and in exchange, you also received a $5 card. And so that's a really good deal for people who like Starbucks. That would be like a free drink for you. Um, so those are just some of the deals that were listed today. I've got some other ones that have like free Visine that you could get. Um, and it just it help, lets you know if there's like places that you can take surveys in exchange for money or gift cards, things like that. So sign up to these sites. These two that I've listed once again, Refund Sense Daily and Yes We Coupon, but there are other ones that are out there. And then another thing that I really, um, really like, I used to love to get magazines. Um, I enjoy reading them and um, just just thought it was great. But you know, magazines are expensive now. They're $3.99, $4.99, $6.99 each, and that's a lot of money. Well, a number of months ago, I found out about an app that can go on your phone, your tablet, and it's called Texture, T-E-X-T-U-R-E. And for $8.53 a month, my husband and I can download all these magazines onto our phone or our tablets and look at them for free. And the way that you do it is just go there and sign up. Like I said, $8.53 is all you pay. And I'm going to, I've got it pulled up here. I'm going to read you some of the magazines. I'll show you the little, here is my tablet, if you can see it. And when you tap on those magazines, it uploads the most recent um, month 
of the magazine and then you just swipe the page just like you would a magazine they're full color pictures and it has like country gardens country living entertainment um, animal tales for children that's a little magazine for children all recipes family circle first magazine um, the Food Network magazine, Garden and Gun, HGTV, In Touch magazine, Life and Style, um, The Modern Farmer, Kids magazine, um, Money magazine, National Geographic for Kids, National Geographic for Adults, People magazine, Reader's Digest, um, The Reminisce magazine that um, I used to love to get that. It has all the old pictures and stories in it. Simple and Delicious, Sports Illustrated, Sports Net, um, Vanity Fair, The Taste of Home, um, US, I mean, it has all of these magazines on it, and you have total access to everything that you would find if you bought them off the magazine rack at the store. Um, they're just simply on your tablet and on your phone, and that's $8.53 a month. You really can't pass that up if you love magazines and love to, um, you know, to just keep all these things. Many of these are recipe books, and I love looking at all the different recipes on them. And so, I mean, I just have access to so many magazines that I want to see, and also tips about gardening. One of the the Modern Farmer this month had um, their magazine was focused on beekeeping, and so I really enjoyed getting into that. And so, you ha you have your fingertips right there at a lot of wonderful magazines that you don't have to buy at the store anymore, where you might. To get all these magazines, you might spend fifty or eighty dollars trying to buy them all, but now you have access to them. And the things that I don't really care for, maybe like Sports Illustrated, well, my husband he loves those, and so he gets to look on his uh, tablet at what he likes, and I get to look at what I like. And then some of the magazines we um, both like them, and we talk about them as we're looking at them. And so that's something that you could uh, check into. And the name of that app is called Texture. And if you've never heard of it, you need to check it out. These are just some ways that I try to be frugal in my family. I thought I would share those tips with you today. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my videos, friend. You will just never know what that means to me. Thank you for being supportive of me and my new channel. Um, you're just a blessing to my life. Hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.